Good day, folks. I'm Mick Finsale from Ironman 4x4. In the next stage of Dion's Ford Ranger vehicle build, we're looking at storage solutions. Now, dual cap pickups are arguably the best platform to use for overlanding vehicles. You have the best of both worlds. You have a nice snug cabin in the front which will accommodate five people and then you have this area in the back in the tub where you can configure uh, how you want to carry your gear. One of the first considerations is a good canopy. Now we endorse the Bushtech range of canopies. The guys from Bushtech make a really good product. This is a aluminium canopy. This actually comes off Dion's old vehicle and we sent it back to Bushtech and they gave it a bit of TLC and it looks like new. So let me show you what we're gonna do inside the vehicle very quickly. A nice thing about this new Ford Ranger is that the tailgate is a lot more spring-loaded than the old one, so it's actually very easy to lift up and down. The ladies will appreciate that. So we have a nice big open pallet to work with here. We're going to go with the same configuration as last time. We're going to be fitting the front runner Bucky slider. It's the entire floor space that you can pull right out and anything that you have standing on the floor will come out along with a slider and it just makes access very easy. You'll notice that the doors on the side of the canopy are full length doors. Again, it's all about accessibility. So folks, a very important consideration when you're configuring your storage solution is accessibility. There's some gear that you need to get to all the time and there's gear that you don't need to get to all the time. Obviously the stuff that you don't need to get to all the time, maybe some recovery gear, tire repair equipment, that can be stored further down forward. And the stuff that you need to get to all the time, eating utensils, um, ice, your gin, your tonic, those need to be very close at hand. So that when you do reach a campsite, maybe late at night, Opening your tent and getting your sleeping place in order is done very quickly and then anything you need to get to, you can get to very quickly. What we're also going to be doing on Dion's vehicle is fitting a roof rack to the roof of the vehicle. That's a roof rack that we're transferring from the old vehicle. It's still in 100% working order. And the roof rack is there for lighter items. You don't want to be putting a lot of heavy stuff up there because it does affect the way your vehicle handles when you're off-roading. So maybe wood, maybe some light bags with clothing and stuff like that. Dion has opted on the back of the canopy not to go with a second roof rack. He's just going to go with some load bars because all that really goes up here is his rooftop tent. The way we fit our rooftop tents is to have them opening towards the back of the vehicle. We just find that the best option uh, when we're overlanding. We're also going to be fitting an awning to the side of the roof rack. Awnings are essential here in Africa. It gets very hot and the sun can really beat down on you, so we need a bit of shade. And that really wraps up what we're going to do storage-wise in this vehicle. So I'm really excited to see how it turns out. And I know Dion is busting to get going in this truck, so let's get stuck in. Folks, I think we're just about done configuring the storage solution on Dune's new Ford Ranger dual cab. I'll just run through it very quickly for you again. On the roof of the cab of the vehicle, we have fitted a front runner roof rack. It's a handy place to store light items. You don't want anything heavy up there. Dion has also elected to put his recovery tread plates up there. They're out of the way, but they are pretty easy to get to. 
On the rear of the canopy, we have fitted a Ironman 4x4 rooftop tent. A nice feature of the Ironman 4x4 rooftop tent is that you can really mount it any which way you need to on top of your canopy. It depends on your vehicle setup, opening to the sides or opening to the rear. Let's have a quick squiz inside the canopy. You recall that this canopy came across from Dion's old vehicle, it's been refurbished. Now one of the things we've done is we've swapped the two window boxes around. We've moved the kitchen window box from this side to the passenger side and the electrical box over to this side. And the reason we've done that is just from a safety point of view, if you pop off next to the road, roadside for a cup of tea or something, you want to be on that side of the vehicle and the kitchen is now on that side. Over here Dion has got a couple of ammo boxes, some braai equipment and his recovery gear, because um, Dion gets stuck a lot. Um, so his recovery gear is very handy to get to. His table is also over here, so out this side, and then you can really close this side up uh, when you're next to the road. Let's have a quick squiz in the rear of the vehicle. You've got to love this easy down built-in on the Ford Ranger tailgate. That's a new feature, which is very good. We've also brought across Dion's uh, slider, Bucky slider, from his old vehicle. So that's gone straight in here again. This is his fridge, this is where he likes his fridge. Lids open this way. That's a 140 litre Ironman 4x4 maxi case, dust and uh, waterproof box, lockable. But for the purposes inside the vehicle here, that's where we keep uh, food. Um, so it, and, and it's also quite insulated, so it doesn't get too hot there. This open space Dion is using for his chairs and any other loose bits and pieces he wants to pop in here. Over there is his spade, handy if he needs to do some digging. Remember, he gets stuck a lot. On this side of the canopy, we have the other window box, which is Dion's kitchen window box. Uh, he needs to still put his utensils in here, and he's got a couple of days before we leave on our next epic Namibian trip, so he's got some time to sort himself out. For a water solution, Dion has gone with this 40-litre water tank uh, positioned on top of this parcel shelf. The other guys have got some upright water tanks right against the front uh, surface of the cab, which means that they've got a shorter slider. Dion now has a longer slider and he prefers to have his water here. It's that OCD thing again of Dion's. And then the last thing that we have is Dion's awning, two meter by two meter, which is attached to the side of his roof rack, opening on the passenger side, so a nice shady area close to his kitchen. And that's pretty much the uh, packaging setup on Dion's vehicle. I think it's turned out pretty good. It's the way we like to do the vehicles. It's easy to use. And remember, as I said before, when you get to camp, you want to set camp up very quickly. You want to be able to get to your stuff, especially the next day when you're breaking down camp. It must go quickly. You don't want to be wasting time on setting up and breaking down camp. So all that's left for us now to do is to fit the suspension to the vehicle, and uh, that should be it.